You're not, you're not a jerk, you're fine. Especially now that I've repaired your overworked torso with my trembling feminine fingers. Yes, too much sexual tension, damn bursting. <laughs> you know, it would totally serve them right if we did it here in the study room. Oh my God, could you imagine? I can't stop imagining. Neither can I. <laughs> <laughs> We should get dressed before the third shift librarian shows up. Yeah, we don't want this to turn into a letter to penthouse, right? I think the group is right. We did need to relieve some tension. Please tell me you didn't have sex with me to win at paintball. No, I had sex with you, and now I'm going to win at paintball. Don't be gross. I'm gross. You seem pretty practiced at putting on panties one-handed while holding a gun. Can I get dressed before you assassinate me? So, all that happened, it meant nothing to you? I didn't say that. What did it mean to you? I asked you first. Very mature. Said the woman wearing the Hello Kitty underwear. Said the woman holding the gun. You sure that's a gun? Maybe it's a metaphor for your fake jaded persona. Uh-oh. No paintball haunts? What, do you think I'm stupid? When did you take my clip? When you started seducing me. I wasn't, though. Assuming that makes you way grosser. Not when I'm right. Buenos dias, children. You'll be happy to know you made it all the way till the end. You're not even a student! Wrong! Critical media literacy and politics of gender, biatch. Give me your clip. Oh yeah, that would be brilliant of me. Look, you got the drop on me, I lost. Let me do this for you. It'd be pretty crazy if I shot you right now, huh? So funny, Chang. Maybe it's the fact there's no such thing as priority registration. Or maybe it's this. Ta-da. One moment. Oh, hi there, Jeffrey. That's a good look for you. Everybody out there is shooting each other for nothing while you sit here in your ivory tower. Jeffrey, I can explain. I messed up when I promised priority registration. Apparently, it's a violation of some Student Equality Act, but this isn't. Okay, now it's not Blu-ray, but it comes with its own remote, so... You get it all out of your system? <laughs> Almost.
Ah, uh, okay. Starting on my left with one, your number comes up, you go. Just so you know, Jeff, you are now creating six different timelines. Of course I am, Abed. One, Troy. <sighs> Damn it. I'm gonna go as fast as I can so I don't miss anything. You know who I used to call Miss Anything? Eartha Kitt. Oh, I don't like yeah. it. He totally set me up. I'm checking on my pies. Ross! No. Bathroom? Yeah, over here. Jeff, tell us about your father. I'm gonna get a drink. Oh, oh my God, are you okay? Barely felt it. Well, let me look at it in the bathroom. Starting on my left with one, your number comes up, you go. Just so you know, Jeff, you were not creating six different timelines. Of course I am, Abed. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Abed, I'm on it. You know who else was on it? And you know what it is. Everybody give me money. Well, that mascot really softens your personality. I banged Eartha Kid. No. Bathroom? Down the hall. I'm getting a drink. Ow! Oh my god, are you okay? Barely felt it. Well, let me look at it in the bathroom. Where is it in the bathroom? Oh. Um. Oh no, what happened? Minor head wound. Oh my god. What smells amazing? Oh, someone wants pie! You make a good nurse. <laughs> oh my god. They taste just like regular sized pies. Oh, yay! Happy house for me. Oh, cool. Thanks, Pierce. Hey, while we're alone, I just want to say thanks for letting me live with you. Sometimes I feel like making desserts is the only thing I'm good for in the group. But now it's time for me to try and make it on my own, just like you did. I can't help but worry about you, Annie. Yeah, I don't think you should open this. No, what? What are you talking about? You're very important to me. Crap. I was not supposed to eat your stuff. We all made an agreement. Crap. I was not supposed to say that out loud. Crap. Okay, cards on the table. I'm really high right now. Oh. Seriously. Did you stop I, and give no, me I want to give you something else. A water pick. A speedboat. Two water picks. I can't believe I'm feeding my pies to a drug addict. Drug addict? You're a pie pusher. You push pies to get... Love! Give it, Pierce! Stop it. It feels fun! I'm sorry. I just had a weird deja vu. You're bad at gift giving! That thing you said about worrying about me, something my dad always said. I demand to be housewarmed! I shouldn't have brought it up. <laughs> just reminded me of my dad. Anyway. Uh, little make out 101, less dad talk, and uh, you could ease up on the bubblegum lip gloss. No, I really could. No, you! Pizza time! Give me this, you godless hippie skank! You're a sick, sad, twisted old man, and I hope you die alone. Yeah. I wonder what happened in all those other timelines. I gotta say, I hope this is the real one, because I just found a nickel in the hallway. Ah, uh, okay. Starting on my left with one, your number comes up, you go. Just so you know, Jeff, you were not creating six different timelines. Of course I am, Abed. Everyone look alive. Leonard, good enough. Greendale, it's been a pleasure fighting with you. Some of us won't make it, but there is a place where we will all see each other again, and that place is Denny's. Which Denny's? We'll figure it out later, Leonard. And the one near the 15 exit, I'm banned from there. Well, then I guess I'll see you in hell. Then let's kick some tape. Okay, on my count. 
One, two. You have the most important job, okay? Yeah, yeah, pull the fire alarm. Can we move this along? I'm missing CSI. Enemy soldiers are incoming. I need everyone to evacuate through the air vent. Garrett! I may be stuck in this vent. <laughs> it is too early to tell. choice is to try to shoot our way out. Right. Commence Operation Troy's awesome leadership is never in doubt. Most of us, but as long as nobody gives up, somebody will make it through. Understand? Yes. Charge! Well, I'm out. We lost. See you, Denny's. Denny's is for winners. We've got two human beings trapped outside of the library. I've been in a few real wars, but this one is actually the most terrifying. Guys, we're dying out here. Well, we're dying too. They trapped us in a dead end. Hey, kid. Someone's got to make it out of here alive. Someone's got to win this. Oh, Alpha 4 eliminated. I'm out. Me too. Alpha 17, move in. Looks like this is it. Will you still be Han Solo after we die? Afraid not, doll. Once I'm gone, I'm gone. Oh. Okay. I ain't gotta do everything myself. Are you okay? Cool. He ain't your storm trooping city Ow. college knob gobblers. You're it, kid. I guess this did go all the way to the top. I'm calling the dean right now and giving him a piece of my mind. No, wait. Garrity. Does the theater department have any of those prop guns that fire blanks? Of course, we just did a modern retelling of Macbeth set in gangland Chicago. Oh, fresh take. You think I'm lazy. 
prop guns? Jeff, what do you have in mind? A little demonstration for the dean on the dangers of trying to educate me? He doesn't like fake classes? Well, he's about to get a real lesson on the fact that Jeff Winger never learns. Here he comes. Get set. You wanted to see me? Oh. Hi, Mr. Professorson. His real name is Wooly. And he has defrauded your school to the tune of dozens of credits per year and nearly twice as many dollars. Well, that's serious. Fortunately for you, I'm a big believer in second chances. I'm not. Annie! Annie! Oh my God, you, you shot him! Of course I shot him. He was being dishonest. And if there's one thing Greendale's taught me, Whoa, what the hell? She had a gun! It was a fake gun. We staged this to get back at you for deceiving us. But well, you're the deceiver, Jeffrey. Yeah? Well, now you're the dead guy. Jeff, what are you doing? Why do you have a real gun? Why did you shoot the Dean? Well, he shot you. Not really. He and I were in on this from the start. When he found out you were faking a class, he came to me and we cooked up this whole conspiracy thing to, to illustrate the slippery slope of academic fraud. You know what you actually illustrated, Annie? <laughs> How to be a crappy friend. Once it was obvious the Dean had orchestrated everything, it was even more obvious the Dean was too stupid to orchestrate anything. Mm hmm So on a hunch, I called him and we hatched a plan to teach you a lesson or two about friendship. But Jeff, I only did it because I love you. Well, when you love someone, you have to take them as they are. People aren't playthings, Annie. No, they are not. Oh, look who's talking. After everything you put me through. Okay. Where did you get that gun? There are only three prop guns. Yeah, well, I live in a terrible neighborhood. Annie, put the gun down. After we kissed, I waited all summer to see you. You buried me like a shameful secret. Whoa. What's the matter, Jeff? I'm afraid crazy Annie would go crazy for you. Well, guess what? Annie's got a gun. Annie, just put the gun. you to ask you to double cross Annie, you didn't hesitate for a second. Do you even understand what a conspiracy is? <laughs> if you conspire with every person that approaches you, you're not even really conspiring with anyone. You're just doing random crap. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I just want to have fun with you guys. And I go crazy cooped up in my little office. And <sighs> time travel is really hard to write about. <laughs> oh, OK. If I'm keeping track right, we should be done. I'll just take these back to the theater department. Police! Drop the weapons! Dead on the ground! Don't shoot, officer! Don't shoot! Please, they're fake! Those are prop guns! Well, I guess it just goes to show you. Prop guns belong backstage. And scene. You have got to be kidding me! Oh, Professor Garrity called and told me what all of you were up to. Made me mad. Guns aren't toys. Fact. In 100% of all fake gun related shootings, the victim is always the one with the fake gun. Hey, Sean, you got breakfast plans? I do now. <laughs> so, Sean, we're still on for Thanksgiving, right? Just talk to your father, Craig. <laughs> Would that this hoodie were a time hoodie? <laughs> hey, Dean. How about that credit? <laughs> no! <laughs> hey! Oh, you the man. What the hell, man? That's half our problem right there. Starburns works the fryer in Skim's fingers. No way. He gives them to people just so they'll act like he isn't Starburns. 
Well, I may not eat meat, but I am not going to eat that injustice. Let's complain. Yeah. If we complain, he gets a warning and learns to be sneakier. I say we knock him out of the kitchen and replace him with one of our own all in one move. Then we're the ones with the chicken. It's like a mafia movie. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be in a mafia movie. Cool. That's exactly what it's like, Abed. And you get the most important job. You're gonna be fry cook. We may be watching different mafia movies. You worked in your dad's restaurant, right? Well, you'll apply for the job after we get Starburns fired. I don't know about that. Ooh, well, I don't know. Like it's like I think he I really relies on that ink yeah. yeah. Every day you flock here like sheep and wait in line for a broken promise from a dirty system. Back in those days, Jeff Winger was the guy that made things happen. He always knew what to say, and he always knew when to slap the table. You wanna be sheep? Keep flocking. You wanna be wolves? Form a pack. And that was it. It was that simple. At that moment, we stopped being a family and started being a family in italics. Britta got cozy with Starburns. He lowered his guard. He was gone. I mean, the way Jeff saw it, by not respecting us, Starburns had basically brought it on himself. And when his job opened up, we did what we had to do to keep the list of applicants to a minimum. I had worked in my dad's falafel restaurant, so I had a pretty impressive resume. It's very impressive. Especially your reference. It's a skip call right now. But we weren't taking any chances. The fix was in. Trump Tower, this is Donald. Well, he could deep fry the hell out of chicken, I could tell you that. Troy even applied for the same job and gave the world's worst interview, just to make me look better. And that was that. This was the glorious time. No more racing to the cafeteria, no more lines. To us, lines were for suckers, hacks, sheep. We were wolves. And we had the chicken to prove it. Ooh. To victory. It feels unfamiliar, but it tastes like chicken. <laughs> Hi. Hello. You guys are lucky. They're always running out. Would you like one? The name's Shirley. Memorize it. I will, Shirley. See that, ladies? <laughs> the universe goes by supply and demand. The more you take and use, the more it sends. Somebody's been taking a little extra. What's in that container? Eight fingers. I bet. I bet study group. Why are you giving Chang chicken? We have an agreement. But Abed, if you get caught skimming, you get fired. And we all go back to eating like Britta. Yeah, we put you in that job. I dress like a crazy pharaoh for you, man. You make the fingers, Abed, not the decisions. I'm sorry. It's OK, buddy. But just remember, these things have power. So just let me know next time you have any more agreements, all right? Yeah. I agreed to give Chang eight fingers per lunch in exchange for a 10% bump on every Spanish test for each of us. Oh. OK. Abed makes the fingers and the decisions. Yeah. 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 At Greendale, they were always out of chicken fingers. So whoever could get them had power. And I was the guy in the apron. So I came up with a system, and pretty soon half the chicken at Greendale was going out the side door. Everybody in our crew had a job. T-Bone was the bag man. He'd move the fingers to a storeroom where two of the girls did the packaging. We could trust them not to eat the supply because Britta was a vegetarian. And Shirley figured that if she stole, she'd go to hell. They'd hand the stuff out the window to Annie. She was the leg man, the distributor. The crazy thing was, it was their food. And we were stealing it and giving it back to them like it was a big favor. Nobody asked any questions, because Pierce's experience as a CEO had taught him how to keep the wheels from squeaking. I had it all worked out on a schedule. You know, I've, I've never been fired. The minute before you thought about busting us, that was the minute you had chicken in your hand. Really, it's just insulting that you're eating his chicken fingers in front of me. Everyone had their hand out. Everyone wanted what we had. And Jeff had the most important job of all. He was at the top. He was the boss. He was our leader. What the hell is going on? AV kids hooked it up. I bet supplied the whole department with chicken fingers. You think that's good? Check out my posse and Troy's monkey. Why do you have a monkey? Uh, it's an animal that looks like a dude. Why don't I have 10 of them? Guys, look what Abed scored for me. Oh, it has a million zippers, and it was free. Six seasons in a movie. Jeff, I know it comforts you to look at things through that metal lens, but this is reality. TV's rules aren't based on common sense. They're based on a studio wanting to milk their properties dry. Here, here. Cheers to that, and cheers to Abed! Cheers. 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 cheers.
Jeffrey? Hey. Oh. And so on. Annie, I'm home. Hey there. How was your day? Did anything funny happen? Oh, who cares? How was your day? Good. Sebastian did some drawing. Sebastian? Let's look at him. Sebastian! Sebastian! Oh, back to your child area. Oh, <gasps> did it! I love you. Are you okay? Is this really what you want? Of course. I mean, I'd be fine with a dog, too. But whatever you want. Do you have any idea what I want? Yes. How'd you get in here? Well, I hold the spare keys so the dean would stop leaving them under the welcome mat. You left weirdly. Now there's no normal way to do anything now. Yeah. You're gonna be fine, you know. I don't wanna be fine. I wanna be 25 and heading out into the world. I wanna fall asleep on a beach and be able to walk the next day. Or stay up all night on accident. I wanna wear a white t-shirt without looking like I forgot to get dressed. I wanna be terrified of AIDS. I wanna have an opinion about those boring ass Marvel movies. And I want those opinions to be of any concern to the people making them. Well to live in the same home for more than a year. Order wine without feeling nervous. Have a resume full of crazy mistakes instead of crazy lies. I want stories and wisdom, perspective. I want to have so much behind me, I'm not a slave to what's in front of me. Especially these flavorless, unremarkable Marvel movies. But they are so not a big deal. I know. It's just all there is. Yes, and you get to say that. I could screw myself if I say it. There's pressures on me you don't have to live under. If you accept that you're older. And let the kid's stuff go. I'll let you go, Annie. With my hands, and my head, the heart, which cynics say is code for penis, wants what it wants. But I let you go. The others are coming. I think you should kiss me goodbye or you might regret it for the rest of your life. What about you? Well, I'll regret the kiss for a week. I'm in my 20s. Who cares? Are you guys doing an unauthorized finale in here? Not cool. Abed, I know it gives you comfort to see everything through that metal lens, but we were just saying goodbye to the room. For season six. Season seven, who knows? It's out of our hands. Too many variables. Cool. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Cool. <laughs> that was one cool for each season. Give me some more time and a